Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. I feel as though I haven't done a favorites video in a very long time, but there are some things that I have been just loving recently, and I just feel like I need to share them with you. So if you like content like this, then make sure you are subscribed, and let's get on with the video. The first product that I've been absolutely in love with lately, and I've actually been using it for the past three months, is this cleansing oil. This is the Innisfree Green Tea Cleansing Oil double squeeze green tea from Jeju Island. And I have been using this apparently since November. I love this thing so much. I'm definitely a big fan of double cleansing and it's taken me a while to find one that I really like. This one is so light on the skin. It washes off really nicely. It emulsifies super easily and it doesn't feel heavy. And I feel like this product has truly been a reintroduction for me into the realm of cleansing oils. And I'm super Super in love with this. I finally know what type of consistency I enjoy and I'm super excited to um, buy another bottle. <laughs> but yeah, super nice. I picked it up at Walmart, super inexpensive and it does the job very nicely. The next product that I've been loving is actually an exfoliator and this one is actually my second repurchase of the product. I started using this in June last year and I repurchased this one in December. And this is the Vine Vera Reservatrol Cabernet High Potency Cellular Peel. It has a very long name but it does wonders. With that being said, it is a little bit on the pricey side. For some people that may be a little bit too expensive, but for me, I do love what this does for my skin. I think I'm old enough, grown and sexy enough to a lot some funds to my skincare and I, I I have no shame. When you put this on, it feels so nice on your skin. What I love about it is that it is obviously a chemical exfoliator and you can actually see like the balls coming off your skin. I don't know if it's the product balling up or if it's the skin balling up, but when I use this, any serum, any moisturizer that I'm putting on my skin soaks into my skin so quickly. It gets rid of any acne that's like in the pores, stuck, ready to come out. It stops them in their tracks before they can even turn into a head. And this has just been amazing for me. I use it once or twice a week and it doesn't strip your pore and it really doesn't strip your skin. The next two products are ones that I've sworn for years that I would never use because I never really saw the use of them. But recently I've been getting a lot of tightness around my eyes and I decided to bite the bullet and pick up an eye cream. I haven't used eye cream since like 2000, 17, 15, it's been a long time, okay? But the one I've been loving, this is the Benton Fermentation Eye Cream. It's a Korean brand, and I got this on the Soko Glam website. It is just the most amazing, rejuvenating, moisture it just it just makes your eyes feel so good i can't believe that i'm saying this but i really do enjoy this eye cream as i mentioned i have been getting a lot of dryness in my eye area this has absolutely been helping me you do not need a lot and because like this is a huge for the amount that you're using, this is a huge tube and it will honestly last you for such a long time. Now, with that being said, it lasts for six months, so beware. But I use it around my mouth, um, my Nesbo lines here, I use it around my smile lines, around my eyes, and also in between my forehead. Listen, I am pushing mid-20s, so we don't want no fine lines, we don't want none of that and this has been helping me. Now that one I use at night, but in the morning, what I love when I wake up to give myself that fresh glow is Hydrogel Eye Patches. This one is from Cole Elf. I don't know how to pronounce that, Cole Elf, I don't know. It's Gold Royal Jelly, and this is their Hydrogel Eye Patches. They are so amazing. I used it in one of my previous videos when I showed you guys, you know, my a week in my routine. Just a beautiful serum for your eyes. I use it in the morning put it under my eyes, and then this is before I wear any of my makeup, so my eyes don't sink in. They just look super beautiful. And what I love, I actually use these together, so I'll put the hydrogel patch on, and then I'll put the cream on top, and ugh, it just locks that moisture in, makes your eyes look really awake and bright without any additional anything else. So I will kind of retract what I've said in the past. I think once you reach a certain age, like mid 20s onwards, it may be a good idea to reach for an eye cream or an eye patch or whatever have you, especially for someone who doesn't get a lot of sleep. 
The next product that I've been loving is one that I featured in my week in my skin routine video. I purchased this, I think in November or something. Now I've seen this type of product on the market for such a long time and I never really picked it up. Um, but I did, finally, and I know why everyone's raving about it. This is the Acne Drying Lotion with Sulfur 10% for Mad Skin Care. I know that Mario Badescu has their own, I think that's how you pronounce it, has their own drying lotion as well, but this one I have for Mad. I got it in my FabFitFun box and I've been using it. I feel like with this, it just allows you to dry out the pimple and the next day it's not red anymore, it's gone down, like it's either gone or it's either just reduced or completely gone. And I. I, I honestly love this thing so much. It does wonders for me. And I know that when I use this, my acne is going to go away in three days. Love it. Love it so much. Oh my gosh. Like I cannot talk about this enough. I think for years I've just been using, um, for years I've kind of just stuck to salicylic acid as well as benzoyl peroxide, but really understanding how each one of them are designed to be used and what they're designed to be used for has definitely helped. And this is one that I, I, I can't live without. So I've talked a lot about the fact that I don't sleep very well. Um, this has just been, it has, it's not really a new thing. I think since university I've developed really bad sleeping habits and it's kind of carried on into my adult life. But um, I've been working on trying to improve that and hopefully you guys will see some videos on my journey trying to improve my quality of sleep. But one thing I picked up, and I honestly thought like it was really gimmicky, but this is the Lush Sleepy Body Lotion. And oh my God, I, Oh, I can't even explain. Like this smells so amazing. When it comes to holistic methods of like skincare, healthcare, all that stuff, you know, it kind of sounds a little foo-foo, but when you actually use it, I can't lie, aromatherapy does really good things. And this has been doing good things for me. I put it on, especially on my chest, um, when I go to bed, my hands and my chest. I put it actually all over my body, to be honest. And it just makes me feel tired. And it's, the, it's definitely the essential oil. I've said in the past that I've grown to not like fragrance, and that includes essential oils, but will say that that is strictly when it comes to your face. When it comes to your body, you have a different type of skin. It's a lot thicker than your face. And if you use fragrance on it, it's not really gonna have those adverse effects. So I definitely think that using, let's say a, using a lotion with essential oils, it will be really good for you just because you get all those good benefits in a product that's already made for you. When you get to a certain age, I feel like it's time to put away your costume jewelry from Forever 21 and pick yourself up some sustainable pieces, some actual gold or silver jewelry. And recently I've done just that. Now I'm not gonna lie, they are kind of expensive, but I feel like if you're going to be wearing them every single day, it is worth the investment. So number one, I have this watch from Capital and it's their gold mesh watch. And I feel like a gold watch is such an understated piece in your wardrobe. But when you wear one, you kind of just look really sophisticated, like you got your life together and you really look grown and sexy. Like, ooh, she's got a watch. She has a dedicated watch on her wrist. Now I am actually an ambassador for Capitola and if you use the code Lakeisha, you'll get 15% off of your purchase. You do not have to use the code, but if you do, I will earn a small commission and it helps support my channel. Um, one of the other things that I have also been loving in the jewelry section is my jewelry. Now I've seen this come on my Instagram feed time and time again, and I just never really purchased it. I spent $300 and purchased some pieces. I'm really into supporting my Canadian brands and Majuri is one that has been popping up in my Instagram for the longest time. So I decided to go out and get a few pieces. This one right here that I'm wearing is from, this one right here is from Majuri. This is their Trillion Cut Necklace in gold varnel with white sapphire. It costs $75. This is the second one that I picked up. It's a beautiful dot necklace in gold vermel, and it is $75 as well. And last but not least, we have the oval necklace in gold vermel. This one costs $80. I actually have it just pulled up in the back because it's way too long to be seen on camera, but it is this beautiful hammered metal gold pendant, and it's super gorgeous, especially with a turtleneck. 
If you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm literally always talking about how I'm losing footage or I'm unable to export a video. And the reason why is because, listen, I just don't have space on my computer. I bought two terabytes of cloud space and when I would edit a video, you'd have to download the footage from the cloud, put it in the video editor, by the time I'm done editing the video and I'm ready to export, the footage has gone back to the cloud. So now I have to download it again. Oh, it's just so annoying. When I finally get the footage downloaded, it is a video, I upload it to YouTube and then I delete the footage. Sometimes, for some reason, it would crash on me and then the video would be in the middle of processing but the footage is now gone because I deleted it because there's no space in my computer. So I finally decided to pick myself up an external hard drive. This is the one from Last C on the Apple website and I saw Shameless Maya talk about this in one of her videos. So this is the one that I gravitated to. Two terabytes over here. It works amazing. I have not lost anything. I am in love with this. <laughs> this is my life. So I did want to show you guys exactly what this looks like as well. I'm actually editing with it, so it's plugged into my laptop. But essentially this cord just wraps around like this all the way around. And it fits in right here with the top of the um, lightning bolt or whatever you call that. Then it has this little cover that fits in real snug right here. And so it's like a completely covered device. And there you go. If you are someone who has a MacBook and you have any type of digital media that you need to create, definitely get an external hard drive. Even if you are in school and you have essays to write, get an external hard drive. I honestly, this would have been such a lifesaver when I was in school because I remember in my second year of university, my computer wasn't this one here, but it broke down and I had to write all of my essays during the exam season on my tablet. That was not fun and I definitely would have loved to have this external hard drive to have that with me. Like even if you're just storing photos on here, like that is honestly some place to keep it rather than on your actual computer. So please pick up an external hard drive. Your future self will thank you. Those are the products that I've been loving for this month. Comment down below and let me know what have you been loving because I'm always looking for new products to try. If you like content like this, then make sure you are subscribed and pop that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. While you're waiting, click over here to see some of my previous videos. Remember to stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I will see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video. Bye!